Welcome back guys. This week is going to be a slightly different sort of episode. We are going to be exploring van life in the centre of Brighton and with over 300,000 residents and 8 million tourists a year, is it even possible? We've picked four of the most popular park ups on Park for Night. Being locals, we're hoping to be able to give you the insider knowledge and we are going to go and check those out right now. Let's head to the first one. Did you know that up until the 1600s, it was actually called Breitel Film. Yeah. And the Germans renamed or it. Or Breitel. No, I think it was Breit. I don't know, maybe that. <laughs> but the Germans renamed it in the 1600s, uh, well, shortened it, and uh, it was officially adopted in 1810. It became Brighton. Ah, I did not know that. That's cool to know. Google. <laughs> One of the first park ups that you can find on Park for Night and it's in Preston Park on the outskirts of the city. Yeah, it's literally, Preston Park's almost as you head out of Brighton. Uh, on Park for Night and what we see from coming over here and walking little Frank from time to time is that van life seems to be accepted here, which is cool. It's a lovely vibe, isn't it? It's, it's sort of split into sections. So you've got like a couple of cafes, there's two big fields that are often big sports on, there's a cycle track, I think. The oldest. Isn't it the oldest cycle track? In Britain. In Britain, there you go. We've learned some facts. And then, yeah, as Tris said, there's two spots. So you've got one spot here that looks down onto the main sort of fields, and then further down, is a different section which is more the sort of the cafe and the growing garden. It is. It is. Oh we should also say here famously in Preston Park is Preston Manor which um, I've not done it since I was a child at school but I believe you can still go around and have a little tour of the Victorian Manor House. I've actually been there and dressed up as a maid. Yeah, I went there at school. <laughs> I went there as a grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> We're children. Every day we come down here, there's always people parking here, which is quite cool. Uh, and as you can see, car park there. And then you can just go off into the park around there. Two public toilets in here. Not sure what time they open and close, but always helpful for fellow, fellow van lifers. The thing I will say is it's uh, beautifully kept clean here. Everyone keeps it really clean, respectful. There definitely seems to be a lovely vibe. I don't know, what, what's it when two worlds interlink? Like It's a beautiful park. There's like families, vanners, dog walkers runners it's yeah it's just got a really lovely energy everyone's sort of very respectful and this particular park up is about a 10 minute 15 minute walk to brighton pier so you really are in the center but on the outskirts and i think that is the uh the beautiful thing that people forget about brighton being a coastal city you are only ever 10 minutes away from the countryside so green space is something we're really lucky with but we've never heard of any trouble any issues no dangers. No dangers, plenty of people staying. The, house, the park itself is lined by houses. Um, so you're sort of in the middle of a residential area. So it's a really cool spot if you want to come and stay in a city with some green space and be able to enjoy both worlds. This is the place for you. Left Preston Park and then we headed to the seafront for the Madeira Drive spot. On our way, we went past the cool viaducts. We took you to the oldest cinema in Britain, which is the Dukes of York. And then we whipped round to the seafront. On the way, we saw the Sea Life Centre, which is the oldest aquarium in the world. We took you past the pavilion. Uh, so like what, the pavilion, Dukes of York, the pier, all of that is really close to the Madeira Drive. We're on Madeira Drive, woohoo! Uh, behind us, you'll see the first lot of parking that we went by, and uh, you can definitely park there. We saw some vans there on the way down. After 8 pm, it's free. It's free, and before 9 am, so you will have to pay for a day parking ticket, but overnight it's free, and you're facing directly to the sea. So that's pretty sweet, isn't it? Now we just walked into the lower end, which I guess is kind of like Duke's Mound, Black Rock type area. Close for anyone to the that knows. marina, isn't it? Yeah, and then we've just seen a sign that says we've got to pay some extortionate fees. So we're going to go find out whether well, that's true or not. I think it looks like they've designated this area for coach parking only. Yeah. So coaches only, otherwise you will get a fine. However, this particular part has always been coach parking. It's just a little further over. It gets back to, to van life. So let's see if it's still there. 
along here and back up there, you could van life. And now it has all been shut down. There's one van here, but no one else. We were just down here looking at the um, park ups. And there's oh, the, 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 oh, the Volks train. Oh, there it is. Hey, Volks train. There's an electric railway in the country. Yeah. But yeah, so if you do park the end that's towards the pier and not that end, it seems like this is all blocked off buses now, but you can get away with parking here, paying charges. I think, as we said, it was after eight, it's free. But look at the beach below. You've got these lovely little promenade walkways that have been built. It's a lovely beach. Got a little nudist area up here, if that's your thing. Might wanna take a whirl up there. But if it's not, there's crazy golf, drinking establishments, and much, much more to do here. But how sick is it to be so close to the sea? one side of Brighton being Preston Park, then you have Brighton, which we've just seen, and we're now on the other side, the Hove End. So where we are here in this little park up, we are right next to the only leisure centre in Hove, the King Alfred Leisure Centre, which is £2.75 for a shower. There's a little strip which we shall show you, and a car park behind it. Um, I think the car park has a height barrier, so it stops any of the bigger vans. You can park along the seafront here uh, if you've got a slightly bigger van, and we've seen them, there's actually one here now. But yeah, you've got cafes to the left, cafes to the right. Some public toilets. Public toilets, there's a cold water tap down further down, there's a cold water shower further up. Um, and if you like ice creams and coffee, there is the, well, we'd say bright and famous Morocco's ice creams. Always a queue, even on a winter's day. So, yeah, yeah. ice cream, check it out. I think they make it all themselves. And don't be tempted to do the double scoop. No one <laughs> You'll can. never eat it. <laughs> you can't. And then this is where you can park along the seafront. And then you can also park. Oh, where's my hair? Back there. Very popular spot. It's a really, really safe, friendly, happy space to be. Um, yeah, you don't really get the Madeira Drive. You tend to get some late night revelers. revelers. Well, there's a club down there as well. Yeah, there? there is, there's bars. And there are bars and things down this way, but it's much more family orientated. And yeah, it's just a really lovely buzz. It's Hove actually. Hove actually. That's what everyone says. past Hove and heading towards Shoreham and you may be looking around wondering why on earth we have brought you to this park up but it's for a very good reason. Come with us and we'll show you. And as we know with any good park up it's what you're looking at not what you're parked in. Then you're on to a winner. Yeah, well, they've got the number plate recognition That's systems. That's it, CCTV. They? So, yeah, so but really you've got Brighton, you have Hove, and then you have sort of, yeah, Shoreham Port, which divides Hove from what we then go into Southwick, Lansing and Shoreham, the further west you go along the coast. Um, so, but it's... It, but, Funny really, I think for people who aren't from Brighton or Hove, if you turn to come down towards Shore and Port, you'd probably question where the hell you were going. But it's actually a really, really, really popular spot with um, locals because as you come right down to the end past all of the park ups, there's some public toilets and then there's a cafe called Carrots Cafe. And yeah, they do fantastic breakfast, lunch and dinners. They're licensed. They do a roast. It's funny because when you look to the sea, you have beautiful views when you look north it's it's big industrial buildings but again the vibe is it's really chilled it's a huge surfer spot along here yeah. isn't it massive surfer spot yeah really popular with surfers down here and paddleboarders and 
kayakers alike. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really popular for fishing the whole way along. But yeah, it's as Chris said, like really peaceful, really chilled. You can come and park up here from reading the reviews on Park Night and then just checking out the signs. If you pay for overnight parking, then you will be left alone to your heart's content yeah. and then uh, you can just pop your boot open and look straight out at the sea so in terms of all the park ups we looked at if you want a beach view sea view you want to wake up to the sound of the sea i'd say this is the one for you but we wanted to show you several park ups so you can have a think of where is best to park up in a busy city but still have that van life countryside yeah and beach views <laughs> so a bit of a, a bit of a different episode this week with a bit of a, an explore of our local city sharing the insider knowledge for for van lifing in brighton jane that we've seen one that's now been closed one caveat to van life in the city is i think the issue when spots get taken away is when people tend to become more permanent in them which is why we highly recommend that you do one night and then move on to save any more spots being taken. One thing to check though is if you're parking on Madeira Drive or visiting Brighton, it is always worth checking what's going on in Brighton. We do have quite a lot of events from Gay Pride to the Marathon to just this weekend, I think we had some kind of like spree trials rally down Madeira Drive. So you might find that parts of Brighton or Madeira Drive, etc., are blocked off uh, due to venues that um, events that are happening. But Brian's quite a friendly, welcoming place, isn't it? Yeah. So come down, come down and check it out. And then another thing we should add is that the park ups we showed you, there are other park ups on Park for Night, which is definitely worth checking out. Um, we just took you to some of the main ones because we like beach views, so we took you along all the beach view um, park ups. Um, but if you can't find spaces on like Madeira Drive or the Hove Park up which is near the King Alfred Leisure Centre, you can go and park a little closer to the main road. Uh, so you are still close but you've got to deal with a bit more road noise etc but it might be a little easier for you to park. So hopefully it's been a slightly different video in the sense that something that we felt was worth doing because we realise how lucky we are to, to live in a city by the sea and uh, the whole purpose of this channel is to be able to share um, share what we find, share spaces with you guys. So why not share where we live? All of this with you. So yeah, we'd love it if you'd come down, enjoy, enjoy the city. What is it they say? Take nothing but a picture and leave nothing but footprints. I love that. I think that's so cool. We just wanted to show all of you that it was possible to van life in a city uh, we see it all the time we live here if you like this video i know it's slightly different but it would be awesome if you could click the like button subscribe if you haven't already honestly it makes such such a difference to uh, these two novice youtubers <laughs> at least we know we're that you're enjoying what we're putting out um leave us a comment have you been to brighton did you enjoy your van life experience are you coming to brighton what do we miss? Yeah. We live here so we could show you around more and more and more. There's so much more to see and do here, but we just wanted to give you a little whistle stop tour of some park ups we suggest for you. Um, yeah. Until next time, folks. Bye for now. Bye.